Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a brand new video on some brand new makeup that I'm so super excited about. L'Oreal just came out with the Lumi Cushion Foundation makeup and I just picked two colors because I didn't know which one's gonna match. I bought them from Ulta.com. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to see how this foundation works on my skin. I have um, combination to oily skin my skin when I wash it is very dry and when I add the moisturizer and at the end of the day my face produces a lot of oil throughout the day so I'm really curious to see how this foundation holds up onto my skin because although I have oily skin I love foundation that are not matte and they just provide moisture and they are like um, my skin is like dripping water and dewy so of course I just wanted to see if this foundation is a knockoff or a dupe for the Lancome version which is again I think the same name oh, this one is a miracle cushion and the L'Oreal is just true match Lumi I am a huge fan of L'Oreal whole line in drugstore because I think they make such a great products and I know the laboratories that they make you know their makeup is the same as Giorgio Armani uh, YSL, Lancome, so that is why I think they, you know, released the two of them. So I'm really, really excited and happy that they came with this version and if, because this is like about one third of the price of the Lancome almost, or maybe less than that, so this is going to be a really, really huge thing for us. Who loves makeup, who love to look dewy and natural and fresh, but in a, you know, a good way with makeup on. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop this ramble. I'm just going to leave you with me applying the foundation on so that you guys can see how the application of this foundation is and you know how I applied with the sponge that is provided which is a really really good tool. It's a very good you know sturdy nice sponge that I love it so much and I recommend using that one or you could you know you can apply with foundation brush but since this foundation is very liquidy and almost like oily feeling, you will see this brush strokes whether any type of brush you will use. So I'd rather to go over that with again a sponge to smooth everything out and then it leaves you with the most glowy dewy look that you will ever find. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop rambling and you guys are going to see the clip of me wearing the foundation and applying it on my face and then after that I'll check and then at the end of the day I'll see how this foundation holds up. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start in this video. Okay guys, so I have two different colors of this L'Oreal foundation. One of them is color N2 and the other is N3.5 and I'm going to go ahead and see which ones are going to match me the best. As you can see from both of these, I believe the N2 one will match me the best because that's the classic ivory and that's usually what I go for foundation colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it without any primer on my face. I'm just going to go ahead and try the sponge that comes with this one and see how that one works. I'm just going to press this into the foundation and oh yes, this is the best color match for me. And I will do half of my face with, you know, a different method of application. I have the foundation on half of my face and as you can see, I can still see all the breakouts and, you know, redness almost. So I'm going to go ahead and use a foundation brush this time for the half of the face and see how the foundation works with it. Okay, so as you can see, I have the foundation all over my face right now and it has improved the redness that I had, but I can see still some of the blemishes, redness peeking through. So I think I'm going to just take care of that with some concealer because I don't want to pile on a lot of foundation on my actual, you know, face. So, and this foundation looks very dewy and the brush did leave some, you know, strokes and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the sponge to get rid of the strokes and it almost looks wet my face so I absolutely think we need to set this with a translucent powder or something or if you need more coverage I think you can use it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back with the whole complete face okay guys so I'm back with the whole um, face 
full of makeup and I did um, add some powder to get away the shine from the foundation because this foundation is very dewy and if you are a dry skin person you will love this because it just provides a lot of moisture and it's almost like it's sort of an aqua foundation that it has some water properties inside so I really like that fact about this foundation other than that since I am um, like combination skin I did add some powder on top of the foundation because I didn't want the foundation to slide or move and since I know I will produce a lot of oil during the day I didn't want it to you know jeopardize the look of my makeup for today so it's about 141 as you can see and I have some errands to do today I'm gonna meet my friend at 3.30 and then um, I think I'll come back and check out with you at the end of the day. I think I'm going to go ahead and wear this foundation for almost, I don't know, 6-7 hours because that's usually normally the longest time that I wear a makeup on my face. So don't go anywhere and I will come back and see the end results. Okay guys, so I'm back and it is almost 6.40. And it's been about five hours that I have this foundation on. It's just the end of the day for me. I'm just going to go ahead and wash my makeup off. I think this foundation stayed on my face, as you can see, pretty good. I think uh, foundation disappeared a little bit around my nose area and probably my mouth. I don't know, because I ate something. And other than that, I don't think there is anything, you know major that happened to the foundation it looks really really radiant it didn't make um my pores look or appear really large or anything it didn't like sit on any lines or anything it's just such a normal really pretty radiant luminous foundation i love that i think this is definitely a dupe for the lancome miracle cushion because um you know longevity wise and the hours that it stayed on it's just the same and this foundation doesn't say that it has any SPF or anything so I think this is such an amazing foundation if you want to wear it at night and take some photos of yourself because it look, makes you look like you are just glowing from within and you are so healthy and youthful looking and the hydration I think and the comfort of the foundation is just like none other so I'm really really happy that um, L'Oreal came with this foundation. I don't think um, they have never ever made any foundation to this level, to this quality. I'm just so happy and I recommend this to anyone who has very dry skin, normal skin and even combo skin that they can you know get away with just blotting a little bit of oil throughout the day. But I don't say this is like a long lasting foundation because it will eventually like get rubbed off and everything. So. Other than that, I just love this foundation. Again, the same thing you get about 14 grams, even a little bit more. Here in uh, L'Oreal, you get 14.6 grams and in the Lancome, you get 14 grams. So this is such a winner. I really, really recommend this. I just think this is an absolute, absolute best. I think there has never been such a great foundation in drugstore. I'm really happy. So other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say except I love this foundation and I really recommend this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and little review slash first impression kind of thing. Hopefully you guys would buy this and enjoy using this foundation. If you have any questions, just don't forget to leave them down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.